Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is your brother with Sam Sharif for Quran Weekly. Uh, everyone at home, I really apologize. It's been a couple of weeks, uh, a couple of months. I haven't, I haven't shot a video. And in that, I wanted to say sorry to everyone. And that, that's exactly what got me thinking about today's topic and, and how to say sorry. Uh, sometimes it's a very casual thing. Like we just say sorry. It's like, oh, I didn't mean to. Oh, that was my mistake. Or in my case, I'm sorry that I didn't shoot a video for a while. And that made me think where I learned to say the word sorry. Because if I was never taught the word sorry, then I would never get the opportunity to convey my regret for doing something. And that made me think about, it's the fourth page in uh, Surah Baqarah. When Adam a.s. made that small mistake or the transgression if you will, I don't know if that's a fair enough word. But when he made that transgression, he felt remorse but never knew how to say sorry. And in that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the fourth page, it's the last ayah on the page in Surah Baqarah, you can look it up, it's the fourth page. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَتَلَقَى آدَمُ مِن رَبِّهِ كَلِمَاتٍ فَتَابَ عَلَيْهِ إِنَّهُ هُوَ التَّوَابُ الرَّحِيمُ So human beings made their first mistake. And if there was a God who was angry, He would never told us how to say sorry. If there was a God who created us to punish us, He would never told us. This is how you say sorry. But in this, there are two things that kind of jump out of me immediately. Do we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's forgiveness? And then generally, like when we transgress, one of my friends, we were joking around, and maybe I crossed the line joking around with him. Do we apologize when we have the ability to? And then the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us how to say sorry. Do we say sorry to him? I mean, you can rewind what the last five videos, first five videos Quran Weekly were about forgiveness, forgiveness... I mean, for God's sakes, the brother's email address is I mean, we all get it, right? But do we take that opportunity to be like, God told us how to say sorry, when to say sorry. So Adam a.s. eats from the tree, shaitan kind of plays an angle with him and says, man, you, you need to eat from this tree. And he goes, no, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said no. He's like, no, 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 you don't get it. See, if you eat from the tree, you'll become angelic and you'll live forever. That's a whole other topic on how Satan sells sins. That's another topic. But ayah number 23 is where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in surah A'raf, ayah number 23, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaches kalimat, words, fataba alayh, how to say sorry to someone. And in this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaches how to give forgiveness. Ayah 23, Surah A'raf. رَبَّنَا ظَلَمْنَا أَنفُسَنَا وَإِن لَمْ تَغْفِرْ لَنَا وَتَرْحَمْنَا لَنَكُونَنَّ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ It's really, it's, I mean, it's profound. I might go try to translate it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaches the words to Adam alayhi salam, Rabbana, O our Lord, ظَلَمْنَا أَنفُسَنَا That we wrong ourselves. I mean, I'll give you exact translation. The Muhsin Khan translation is, Our Lord, we have wronged ourselves. That's where I started. And, ظَلَمْنَا أَنفُسَنَا وَإِن لَمْ تَغْفِرْ لَنَا وَتَرْحَمْنَا And if you don't forgive us and have mercy on us, we will be amongst the losers. And, and this is really the main thing of forgiveness, is not only, there's four steps to forgiveness, and we'll, let's get into that in a second. If we don't turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and we don't say sorry, is it Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's automatic, is, do we deserve His forgiveness automatically? If I didn't shoot these videos, all right, and then I don't say anything to the Quran Weekly people, do they have to forgive me? If I didn't say anything to him, default you'd be like, at least he said sorry. But if we don't even say sorry, then rewind. If we don't even know how to say sorry, then are you asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgiveness? Are you truly asking, requesting forgiveness if you're not saying the word sorry? I smack someone in the face and go, blah, blah, blah. I meant sorry. That doesn't make any sense. If you don't say it the way that the person intends to have it, then how can you get their forgiveness? If you don't say sorry to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the way He told us to, and that is just in this verse, in this ayah, 23, A'raf. 
Rabbana zalamna anfusana that we have wronged ourselves. What's the first step before you ask for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's forgiveness? The first step of forgiveness, and therefore, the first step of asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's forgiveness is to accept what you did is wrong. Now watch, if I just said, yo, I'm sorry, then what's the likelihood? My likelihood, I'm going to do it again, right? It's so easy to say sorry. But when you say, what I did last night on the internet is wrong, then you say sorry. Then you ask for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's forgiveness. Then the human psyche said, no man, what I did was wrong. Then you ask for Allah's forgiveness. And we'll learn this dua at the end. The third thing is to replace that bad deed with a good deed. Replace the bad deed with a good deed. Say subhanAllah. Now it's really simple when you transgress the laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But say you hurt somebody. You can't just be like, oh Allah forgive me. I lied. I backbited. because, And I said she was fat. Now you've got to go to her and be like, I, I backbited about you. I'm not going to get into backbiting, but let me just tell you. If you backbite about someone, then you go to their face and be like, look, I really apologize, I said this. You're not going to do it again. And the fourth thing is to make intention not to do that thing again. To set up, to set up safety nets so you don't do that thing again. Four steps to asking for forgiveness, but the first step is accepting that you're wrong. Uh, if we could read the dua together, that'd be great. Maybe you could rewind this a couple of times. It is ayah 23, surah A'raf. ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإن لم تغفر فر لنا وترحمنا لنكونن من الخاسرين. You can rewind that a couple of times, uh, but my point. Uh, today's thing is that the Quran teaches us how to say sorry. Two things. If we're not going to learn to say it correctly, like at least in the Arabic language, and if we're not going to give the time to learn what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants from us, it's going to be a lot difficult for us. How to say sorry. Your brother Wissam Sharif. Again, I apologize for not shooting a video for a couple of months. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of you guys. And I uh, will talk to you soon. I hope you benefit from these videos, inshallah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.